All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are here working on the Glizzard. So last time we talked about this build, we were going to have to put the K-member back in it. We dropped the K-member to set the engine in the car. We got a 460 cubic inch LSX a TKM power plant set up for methanol blower. It's a bad unit. We got a uh, Williams Fab aluminum oil pan, which is absolutely sick. And we knew that when we were gonna put that in, it was gonna have some clearance issues maybe with the K-member. So we're like, hey, we could always space the K-member down. It's the same oil pan that we run on the Black Sheep, but the Black Sheep doesn't have anything running underneath it. So uh, as far as clearance issues, in the way the, the chassis is actually set up, it was a little bit higher in the car. So uh, I guess I could have modified it, but it would have had a virtually no depth here in the front of the oil pan if we did it where it just cleared the K-member. So when I was over at uh, Bissett Performance, Junior Bissett, he is knocking out a bunch of stuff on the Colorado, which I'm not gonna reveal anything yet. We're gonna wait till we get it back from him. When we get it back from him, it's pretty much, you know, put the power plant, transmission, everything, get that all buttoned up and wire it and you're good to go. So uh, Junior Bissett, Bissett Performance, absolutely killing it, knocking a bunch of stuff out. Uh, redid the firewall in it. Uh, redid the mid plate in it. Um, redid the uh, upper frame rail on it and some of the supporting stuff, uh, parachute mount, shifter, uh, gas pedal, brake pedal, just absolutely killing it. Looks amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. That's like your little hint. I'm not going to show you anything, just tell you. Uh, so when I was over there, he's like, hey, <clears throat> was watching the channel and I know you have to space the K-member down. Why don't you take these back there? And I thought I only need an inch. So he sent me home with an uh, inch thick uh, pieces of aluminum and what they do is they're essentially just going to sandwich in between the frame and the k-member and space it down uh, on something like this with a bolt-in k-member you can space it down and get away with it you're just the only thing is maybe if you're street driving it a lot your upper control arm angle instead of being like level might be a little bit uphill but we're just we're racing it it's going down track it's getting pushed around the pits it really doesn't matter all that much so i put this stuff up there on there yesterday and all we have to do is just drill the holes for the bolts and an inch was not enough to my surprise. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. So we had to space it out an inch and a half. So luckily, I got these badass templates. So this one's gonna go here for the front. There's gonna be a, a bolt hole here and a bolt hole here. Bolt hole here and a bolt hole here. That's a, bit, a tongue twister. And then that back, the smaller pad, goes down here by like where the actual, like the, the frame of the car is. Uh, so one inch isn't gonna work. So I went and got inch and a half. You can see the difference there. It's, it's, you know, one and a half times this gives you this. It's a unit. It's pretty thick. It's more than I want to space it, but it's not the end of the world. If it doesn't work, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, we just can't get something right with the suspension with it spaced down that far. Junior's like, don't worry about it. Bring it over to my shop. We'll put the one inch spacers in there and then we'll C-notch the oil pan. So. Again, big shout out to Bissett Performance, Junior Bissett. He's got my back. You know, this, this is the stuff I lose sleep over at night because for me, this is a big obstacle. I'm a bolt-on guy. I can bolt anything on. When it gets into custom fabrication, not really a great fabricator. You guys saw the nine-month headers, you know, did they work? Yes, they took nine months. So um, with the guidance of Junior and, and Matt, uh, I feel like I'm in good hands. So I got um, a, uh, a big old piece of uh, inch and a half thick, three inch wide, aluminum that I'm cutting to make the uh, the spacers for this. So we'll get that knocked out. I don't know. Phil, you trust me on the drill press? No. That was the fastest no ever. No, I don't trust you at all. Are you going to supervise when I'm on the drill press? Look at, I, look at dude. I cut this all by myself, Phil, and the blade still got teeth on it. Oh, man. Use the, uh, oh, yeah. The no, I, I, got one, I got one of these. <laughs> no, I didn't use any fluid. It's aluminum though, so it's not that bad. Phil, poke your head on camera. Say what's up. Look at that hair's growing out. What's up? Look <laughs> like Roscoe. Just people are like, wait, I didn't log into Danny Duncan. All right, we'll go over there. I'll show you guys what I'm cutting. Uh, I'll use these as templates. I gotta cut three more pieces and then we should be good to go. So I already got the uh, inch and a half thick piece set up here.
I've seen it looks pretty decent. How does it look from where you're standing, Phil? Oh, that looks great. All right, y'all, got the K-member down, got the spacers cut. What I did was I set the spacer on there, traced it with a Sharpie, so I got where I have to drill my holes. Uh, one side, they are pretty square. I shouldn't say square, they're, they're a perfect circle. The other side, they're oblong, I guess, to give you some sort of adjustment. At least that's how this K-member is. This K-member came with the car, it was used before, obviously, so I don't know if that's just some wear and tear, but we're gonna go to the center of it. Make sure we get the bolt back in. Uh, the back has two um, oblong cutouts for the bolt holes, and then they all have the uh, the nut up in the frame. So this stuff's thick, so it's gonna take a minute to drill out, especially if you have to do it oblong. So I'm gonna try to drill the holes straight on the drill press, and then if they have to be oblong and moved, I will do that. If not, I'm just gonna cram the bolt in there and be good to go. It does give us proper clearance. It's pretty close, uh, not a bunch of room, but like I said before, I got a steering rack that has like the two bolt hole style, and then there's like the standard, I guess, uh, Pinto rack that you could say. Uh, the Pinto rack has, um, most K members that run that kind of have like a tube that comes off of it with like a half moon that it kind of sets in and they put a worm clamp on it. And then they have like an actual clamp that clamps down the other side. I think I have one of those upstairs so we can build off that because the steering rack that I have right now, it, it's pretty big. It's got like a long uh, shaft sticking out of it. So not ideal for, you, I, I prefer to have it shorter and then I could just run uh, what my joints right off there and try to, I'm trying to keep everything as low and close to the frame as possible on this. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm gonna try to build the zoomies. So clearance is limited at this point. Alright, over here at uh, JD Machining, got the first hole drilled out. I'm hoping I traced correctly, got the second one started, got my little drill press set up going on here. Guys, not quite sure what we got going on here, but we're making progress. I'm putting holes in it, whether it's the right hole or the wrong hole, it's getting a hole in it. And I haven't thought about how I'm going to get the two side-by-side -side ones like to, to make it oval, but I'm thinking while I'm doing this. one uh, just 
just got done with that driver side bolted right up perfect so we knock out the passenger side and we're gonna see how our spacing looks saw me uh, drilling out for the hey Phil come look at this JD machine work over here just knocking it out knocking it out the, I'm, I'm gonna put about this much this <laughs> smack and talk backfire right there I'm gonna put this much own two I'm gonna put this much space on you that's it that's all that's, that's all the space you're gonna put on me yeah, it's not going to be the first time you only take it. Only an inch and a half. It's not, not going to be the first time. What? That you only... Oh, no. No, don't stop. All right. Stop. Are you trying to race that truck against any Honda that I put together? Bet. All right. Bet. Bet. I need redemption. All right. I ain't going to lose in that one. I ain't going to lose in that one. I got a Honda for you. No, oh, I'm ready. All right. I'll stay ready. It's All right. green. There's no one that pulls up. So, inch and a half spacer, drilled the holes out. Can you believe... Now, Phil, everyone at home is always picking on me that I don't do any work. I did that from start it, to scratch. Yeah, it took you all day, but you got it done. Bro, I, I literally worked on for an hour. Literally one hour. Put some respect on my name. I worked on it for an hour. No. All day. You're gonna stick. You're gonna. You're gonna do that to me in front of the people. Tell them all day. Are you gonna edit me out this video too? Oh, you keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> But look at this. We got oil pan clearance. Look at look at how close the K member is to the oil pan still. That's with an inch and a half space. Is that the oil pan that you waited like 17 weeks to get made? I did wait a little while for this. No, this is not. This is the second one. This one came much faster. But I mean, I guess I, I could have... I think that's adequate amount of space, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's what it is on my module. I don't know if the frame rails are like I, perfectly identical. Um, no, I, I, they gotta be. I mean, well, I don't know. It's a Mustang that's like from the 80s so there's no telling how straight they were doing everything back then but I, I meant as far as the frame but we got the K member in there uh, and it looks good so I still have to make the pads for the back uh, which they have that little capture nut back there so I was kind of worried about uh, having to drill the hole as an oval but really I just need to drill the holes uh, next to each other as long as they are you know right on the same plane then it'll bolt right up which is no problem so i got the other piece to go in there i just got to drill the holes in that and we're done with that um and then we're ready to put the really this has been the, like the main hold up was me getting these spacers because i was like man i don't know what i'm gonna do so but now that we got the k-member space i can put the lower control arm i can put the spindle on i can mount my spindle mount wheels on there uh, i still have the 15s right now which i'm going to sell and get some polished 17s but for right now this point in time as far as moving it from shop to shop that's going to be the move so once i get it mobile you know uh it's going to head over to visit performance uh junior's going to uh put like that lower frame rail in there he's going to fix my whole firewall pandemic that i have right there because it is a pandemic it is across the country Jeez, you that's COVID how on your firewall, yeah man. that COVID. firewall is rough um so yeah i'm gonna fix that and then what else um oh he's gonna mount two seats uh and then pedals and everything like that because i don't know i like to sit very far back in a car so whether we have to do a new steering column or pedal assembly this one's got set up with a clutch so we're gonna have to address that uh and then i'm gonna switch over to the strange quick release because this one right here is so this thing is coming along nicely hey you gonna ride with me are you gonna ride with me? Where? Make a pass. Make, go like, bust out like a 450 side by oh, side. Bet. Ebony, I can tell everybody I've been 450. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we'll do it. We'll do it. All right, so uh, that's the plan: is to get this sucker together, two seats, do some ride-alongs. I think it's gonna be badass with that blower. So the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get uh, the balancer pulled off. Get the blower on there, get the front end all put together, get it on the ground where it's rolling around, and uh, then we'll head over to uh, Visit Performance. We'll drop this off and pick up the Colorado, so we'll, we'll get right to work on putting the Colorado together, and then when we get this back from Visit Performance, it's going to be, uh, you know, really, the little odds and end things I think are going to get me time-wise, 
just a little bit. Uh, oil pump, fuel pump, and headers. So once you put the oil pump and the fuel pump on there, slap the headers on it, we'll be good to go. Uh, other than that, I'd say we are ready to rock. Okay. I mean, did you tell them yet? I'm building zoomies. Sing it. So we'll see this Stop eight it. months from now. Stop it. They're not nearly as long. Then, they literally have to come out right here. That's literally a quarter next of an inch. May? They're going. I'm here's here's the plan. They're going to come out. They're going to come down, and they're going to go right here in front of the tire. And I'm going to have four zoomy tips right in front of the tire. That is literally more than less than half the work. More than less than half the work. More than less than half the work. Are you going to help me with them? You know that meme with the lady doing all those you calculations right now? I'm trying to help figure out them? what more than less than half is. You yeah, I'll weld them. If you tack them up, Bro, I'll weld, weld them so no. they can actually look good. Do we need to walk over there right now and show them my welds? Yes. All right, let's do it. You lead the way. Right, Phil, so. again, for the second time. You know what? You've been coming in my videos putting no respect on my name. <laughs> None. I just want to see you do better. None. All right, don't you dare right. go and look at the, 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 the shittiest. All right, when do you have to add filler is when you start panicking. Yes. I noticed that. Yes. Because when you have to add filler, it's like a gap. It's a fitment issue. It's if like I can fit them up. You're trying to bridge this again. Hold on. Like, look at this. Look at this welding right. here. Okay, not That's bad. Fusion. Okay, not bad. N not bad. Really not bad there. Look at that. Look at that. No, Hold on. Hold on. It's amazing not how bad. trash these headers got from one burn well, two burnouts. Oh, dude, it was it was chaos in that burnout pit. It was absolute chaos. But was it worth it? Oh yeah. I think we should just left the burnout truck, but uh, can't have anything nice around here. <laughs> <laughs> all right why can't we just listen, have something on. that's just like rowdy and retarded and i uh, can i say a word i can't say a word rowdy let's, and stupid let's get uh -huh. another colorado all right ls swap mm -hmm. like manual mm -hmm. and or bullshit like stock th400 right. stock rear well to diff and let's just take it drift let's just take it to cars and call oh god yes let's build a drift truck but like a, a stupid building with zoomies yeah. no well i have them they're already built like <laughs> all i do is bolt them on i have the motor mounts and the zoomies that's like i mean i guess hey <laughs> hey we're gonna bring that redneck mountain dude drinking <laughs> drag racing stuff to drifting you oh, know they're all about like style and shit yeah or be like oh you guys ever hear zoomies and breathe on the starter and their eyes are watering we'll, we'll methanol in, uh... methanol drift truck no not trying to catch on fire. Anyway, <laughs> we'll wrap it and uh, we'll get it wrapped in uh and uh and briskets and shit. You know, because you're always smoking meats. We <laughs> call it the meat wagon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that weird note, we're gonna end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The Glizzard's coming along. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, I, this was a big hurdle for me. We overcame it, and my productivity is just soaring. I'm getting better at it, guys. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload. The Glizzard is coming. And also, very, 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 very important announcement. We are going to be doing an LS Nasty Experience giveaway. This one's a little bit different than the first one. One winner. They're going to come down here, hang out, get to ride in one of the cars. Your options are either going to be the Bad Apple. You get to ride in the Bad Apple. The Cow. Or the Glizzard. So... Just saying, you guys are going to have an opportunity. It's going to be just like the vehicle giveaways, just like the turbo giveaways, but the winner, I'm going to fly down, hang out here. You get to hang out in the shop with us. If we go to a race, we'll try to coordinate it where we can go to a race. You can make a shakedown in the car with us, and uh, we're going to make you cry on camera. And it's not going to be Phil's attitude that's going to make you cry. It's going to be the G-Force leaving the line. You're going to be like... Muffin cap peeled. I'm, I'm literally going to peel someone's muffin cap on camera. It's going to be an all-out culture day. Oh, you're going to include that? Yeah. Do you want me to put that in the rules? Like yeah. things you win, a ride, hang out at the track, fly down here, hotel stay. Yeah. Phil's jerk chicken. All right. There you guys know. It's breaking news. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload. He gets to buy this round. Don Doc got to buy this round. The Black Sheep on the property. He got to buy for the next round. Thank you.